Hi, this is Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, and just going over some of these tests and how you do these RBTI testing. Um, I've got Pippa Galia here with me today. She's done really well with the program, and it's been doing about six months, but she's going to do the pH as well as the refractometer test um, and show you guys how to do that. So, Pip? All right, okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to test the sugars. And um, so you're, you're going to have some fresh urine, and we're going to drop to about two or three drops of urine onto the glass here yeah. and then we're going to drop this little lid down on top push it down to make sure it's sealed yeah. and then we're going to look through the refractometer and it's good to look actually at a light source so that we can see what it is and uh, do you want to do you want to have a look through that i don't know if you can look through it or not we can try, can try that'd be pretty cool if we could but i don't think it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, well you can see some numbers in there. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna be able to actually read it. Oh yeah, well yeah, you can see right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a three. You can see five, four, three, there's zero there. So it's interesting. Okay, so I didn't think that would come out at all, but it looks good. So actually. it's just under a 3, so it's around about a 2.9, so it's just under that mark on the 3. Yeah. So that's your, okay. sugar, so that's your sugar number. Can you do the pHs for us here too? Yeah, so, um, okay, so pHs, you're going to take one drop of the bromothymol blue indicator, and you're going to put one in well 5, one drop in well five, and you're okay. also going to put one drop in well fifteen. Is that right? No. No. Five. <laughs> no. You don't have to. You don't have to know the numbers of the wells. Just put a drop in those little dishes. No, RPT right. really works. It doesn't make you stupid and not be able to count. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put one drop of urine. And the one on the top. In the top one. Because your urine number we're always going to read first. So we're going to put one drop in there. Hey, look at you. So that, that means I've got an acid. Pip has been very alkaline for a long time. I've been trying to get that pH down. But it, it and may, look at that. It may well be that I'm acid because I had a colonic the other day, and so that generally does tend to drop the pH in the right. in the urine anyway. So that's... That's probably 6.2. It's some, yeah, it looks... It's usually you're looking for the darkest color, at least that's what Challen tells me. Right. I would say it's probably around a 6. Yeah, maybe a 6.2. I'm calling it 2, because I see some darker green in that. Okay, so we'll call it a 6. Anyways, so onto, we'll onto the saliva. All right, now I have to spit into this one. This could, this could be embarrassing. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm trying to do by video. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we're going to sort of drop one drop of spit. Into that, into this bowl here. Can you guard me? Um, yeah, you're looking good. It's in there. Okay. Okay. That was nice and graphic. <laughs> There's no pretty way of doing that. I don't the think. Mega close up there. Okay. So we're just going to move that around a little bit and mix it up. And I would say, I would say that's when we're around about six. Four or six six. Yeah, I think it's a little darker. It could be it's at least a six six. Okay, you might want to you might want to you might want to lick a little pH paper too. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. We'll call it a six. A six six. Six two over six six. Anyways, I'm going to shut the video off now, but we're going to come back and show you some of the other tests that we run. Okay, we're looking at how to write the numbers on a card here. There's kind of a format to do this, but. Okay, so I'm going to write my name on the card. And then the numbers are 2.9. And then this, the urine number is actually a 6.6. 6. I just double checked that. Yeah, so it's, it's gotten a little bit darker. 6.6. 6, and I'm going I'll, to show, I'll show. You can see it's getting darker now. It looks a lot more like the 6.6 6 here. So. Anyways. Okay, so the urine number goes on top, and then the the, the saliva number, which is a six eight, goes underneath. So that's six point eight. So eventually, we'll have seven numbers on this card. Yep. Okay. okay, that's a start. What about the other things you write on the card? The uh, 
The time of the test is really important. Yes. So this was, I urinated time, yeah, at time ten forty-five a.m. Ten forty-five a.m. But the best time to do the test is between eleven and twelve. So we're yeah. running it a little bit early. And then it's um, your age, which is <laughs> forty. Twenty-one. Oh. Right. And um, how? tall I am, which is five foot seven, and my weight, which is around, was well, yesterday was 135 pounds, so I think the scale's off here, though. I think okay. I'm less than that. She's less than that, everybody. <laughs> She's not a pound every 120. Um, okay. All right, back to some, some more stuff. Okay, now it's time to do the ureas. This is definitely the trickiest part of uh, doing the numbers here with the most interpretation required, but we'll show you how it's done. Okay. okay. So we're going to take the universal extraction solution, and I usually just leave it in the in the hot, uh, block. And we're going to take six drops. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to make sure that you put all the drops back into the bottle before you put the dropper in, otherwise it will corrode oh, okay. the top of your dropper there. I didn't realize that. Mine's probably ruined by now. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we're going to take one drop of urine and add it in there. One. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take a clean dropper. Wipe it off a little bit. Just getting the gonna, water off there. And then we're going to agitate this 120 times. Sounds like a lot, but it goes quickly. Each. Yeah, just one drop. And again, it's six drops and one drop. Okay, so we're going to put that down. And we'll just leave it there just in case these don't come out and we might need to do it again. Okay. And we're going to take four drops of the ammonium nitrate test solution. And that's going to go... So we're going to do that one first. And that's going to go in that bottom plate, which is... <coughs> Well, 12, and we're just going to roll the drops in off the side of the plate. So we're going to go for four points of the compass. Two. West. North. There okay. you go. And we're going to read that pr as pretty much as soon as that hits okay, let's there. Read it. Okay, so you have that, and then you have this chart here. You try to figure out which one it looks like. So I would say that that's a 10. It's not quite as orange as a 10, but it doesn't have a circle in it. And it's not, the numbers aren't. Yeah, it's, it's, there's no broken, there's no ring around it or anything. So I would say that's a 10. Okay, which one, this 10 here? Yes. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. 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 On to the next On urea. To the next test. Okay, now we're gonna take the nitrate test solution. Which is quite okay. poisonous, so... Yeah, this stuff is high octane. So you want to be careful with this. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go around the clock. So... North... East... South... And west. And that one takes five minutes. That's so we'll get back with you in five. And make and make sure you empty the Okay. Alright, this is the salt meter. Uh, we use a different one here in the office. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's pointless. But uh, basically you just use this button, you turn it on, 
uh, you want to actually uh, submerge this in the urine. Uh, you don't want to fill it up past this point here, this little dot. And uh, what happens, it'll give you a readout right here. And if that readout rushes up to 20 right away, that's the maximum reading this has is 20. So if that happens, your salts are actually above 20, you need to go back and dilute your urine half and half with distilled water. That way when you go back and do it again, uh, you basically just double the reading. Now you have to do a little bit of a calculation. If it says 10 on here, the salts are not actually 10, you're going to multiply that number by 1.45. Uh, if it goes up to 20 and then the, the diluted reason or the diluted reading is is 10, uh, you're actually going to multiply that by two and multiply that again by 1.45. But that's how you get the reading. It's not very complicated. Play with it; uh, you'll have no problem figuring that out. Okay, so we're going to look at the ureas now. So the bottom one we we read before because now it's broken down and it was a 10. And we're going to look at the top one, which looks to me. So I'm going to like, show you the chart here. Like a, maybe, do you think a 10? You think that's a, oh, it's a 7, even though it's that dark. But I tell you, don't look at the darkness. Okay. Okay, don't look at the darkness. Don't look at the uh, darkness, apparently. Look more at the... At the design. Okay. At the design. So we think, so we, we're saying that's a 7. And it'd be a 7 plus. Yeah, and as you can see, plus. this, can, this is some help the most difficult reading to, to get right. It just takes some practice and a little help to figure it out. Because... See how the, all the breaks? Uh -huh. There's breaks all through that. Right. So anything that has a break is a seven. Okay. Okay. You heard it from the, the boss right there, the office diva. <laughs>